Hello and welcome to How to Split Amounts into Annual Columns. My name is Jeff, I'm glad you're here. Let's just jump right in. I was recently asked the following question. How can I split an amount into annual columns? And I'm gonna answer that question in this video. Exercise one. So the basic question is, we have these amounts and we'd like to split them into annual columns. Here's the start year and here's the number of years. So we're gonna use a built-in Excel feature called Power Query to do this. If you haven't used Power Query before, no worries, we'll take it step by step. The first step is to select our range and go to Data From Table Range. This opens the Power Query Editor. Now the first thing we wanna do is to remove this total row. So what we can do is simply apply a filter and uncheck total row and click OK. And don't worry, going forward, if we add new contracts into the table, they'll be included. This simply filtered out for the word total. Let's calculate the annual amount. To do that, I'm gonna select the amount column, hold down control and click the years column. Then I'm gonna click add column, standard, divide. And that creates the annual amount. I'm gonna rename this column by double clicking it and calling this annual amount. Enter. Now, although we're not done, I just want to send this back to Excel and show you how that works. So we're going to click Home, Close and Load 2. We're going to send it to a table in an existing worksheet. We'll click a cell and we'll click OK. And let me just close this Queries and Connection pane temporarily. Now, what's nice with Power Query is in future periods, we don't have to go through that setup again. If there were ever more contracts added to this table, all we'd have to do is right click and refresh. And with our basic query set up, it's time to go to the next step, exercise two. In this exercise, we wanna insert a row for each year. So what we'll do is go to data, queries and connections, and I'm gonna edit this query simply by double clicking. Now I'm gonna click add column, custom column. You can call this anything you want. I'm gonna call it year. We're gonna start by using an open curly brace and we're gonna create a list. And the list is gonna start with the start year, and then we're gonna use two dots, and it's gonna end at the start year plus the number of years minus one. Close the curly brace and click OK. Now let's see if that worked. This first contract should start in 2030 and go for four years. So if I select this white space next to the word list, I can get a preview. And our list goes from 2030, 2031, 2032, 2033, and that looks about right. The next one should start at 2031 and go for two years, and that looks right. Since that's looking good, what we do is expand and we expand to new rows. Now let's send this back to Excel. Home, close and load. And our results table is updated accordingly. Now we're getting much closer, but it's time to finish it off in the next exercise. Exercise three. Let's go back and edit this query. Again, we'll just double click. Now what we wanna do is we wanna select the year column, go to transform, and we wanna pivot column. And if you've used pivot tables before, this is like creating the columns field. In those values, we want the annual amount. And then we click OK. So let's take a look. We have the contract column, the years, the start, the amount, and then we have one column for every year. And that's looking really good. The other thing I'd wanna do is I'd wanna copy this amount column and have it go to the end. So the way we can do that is just select the column and then click add column, duplicate column. I'm gonna double click and I'm gonna call this total. Now I'm just gonna close and load. And our results table is updated accordingly. Let me go ahead and close this. Now optionally, we could add a total row here. To do that, let's go to table design and check the total row checkbox. Now by default, it's gonna put the total row in this column, but we can easily add the sum function into all of these columns simply by using the dropdowns. Okay, that looks fine. Now what happens if there's a new contract? So let's hit tab, let's add a new contract, we'll call it ZZZ100, and let's say it's a two-year contract, it starts in 2030, and it's $4,000. So the total here is 36. We don't need to go edit the query. All we need to do is refresh. We can right click and refresh, or we can just go to data refresh. And here we can see that new contract flows in and the amounts are allocated as desired. And that's how we can use Power Query to allocate amounts into annual columns. Thanks for joining me, have a great day. Hey Excel user, if you ever need to create summary reports, check out my Pivot Table for Beginners video. It starts at the beginning and shows how to store the data transactions in a table and then how to summarize those transactions with a Pivot Table report. I hope it helps unlock the incredible power of Pivot Tables. This video is a production of Excel University. 